Sa salakuyan! What's up, Martians? Welcome back to my channel, and today let's talk about the Sandmark Pro Light RGB and the Sandmark Bi Color Light. of these lights are powerful enough as a carry-on. The bicolor light outputs the 1500 lux at 0.5 meters and the RGB light outputs the 770 lux at the same distance, which is once again 0.5 meters. Carrying a 3000 mAh battery, this light is currently at 15 watts and 3.7 volts. What do I think about it? It's underrated. For battery life, according to the website, both of these lights can last up to 90 minutes at a max of 100% brightness. Compact and light weight. According to the website, both lights are less than the size of an iPhone 12. This is an iPhone 11 Pro Max compared to both of these lights. As you can see, it's really small and really lightweight and portable. You can basically put it in your pocket. Carry it anywhere, especially when you're traveling or just going out for a Sunday photo shoot. What makes this light great for its size is that I've been in a situation where I have to shoot at home. The fact that I forgot my lights from the studio, meaning I can't shoot at home. But I remembered that Sandmark sent me these lights over so I can carry it around. And luckily, I was able to shoot at the day that I needed to because these lights are really compact, portable. You can put it in your pocket basically and just do a run and gun shoot. And by the way, these are the results. Both of these lights are made for mobile filmmaking, but me as a professional filmmaker, wow, I just said filmmaker, I'm both a photographer and videographer myself. So I had to really run the, both of these lights out to the test and I'm really impressed. Oh, and one more thing, I wasn't paid by Sandmark to say all of these good things about their product, but I really find it really helpful. And thank you, Sandmark, for sending these over. For my personal thoughts, price-wise, the RGB Pro Light is currently priced at $129.99, and the Bicolor Light is currently priced at $89.99. Another thing that I want to clear out because of the price, not just for the premium feel, it's a Type-C charger. Oh, and by the way, here's what's included in the box. <laughs> Once you open the box, you are going to be greeted with a diffuser attached to the light itself. You can see it definitely has a premium feel to it. It feels really sturdy. I think it's made out of... It's really not plastic. That's what I can say. Second, you're going to get this mounting plate for your camera. Basically, you can put it in a tripod. You also get a Type-C charging cable, which is really useful nowadays. And of course, the Sandmark carry pouch. And these are the items you're going to get with or inside the box. Well, actually, with the RGB and the bicolor light, it's all the same thing. What do I think? The fact that you can carry it around, it has a 15 watt voltage, a 1500 lux output. I'm really not into these technical stuff when it comes to light. But when I tried to light my house, 
it basically did especially the rgb led light has effects from one to nine effects like thunder an ambulance police and many more color cycles <laughs> Lastly, what should you know about this product that makes, well, maybe a con? What's the con of this product? The only thing that bothers me the most about this light is that when you leave the light on for way too long, it's gonna heat up a little. But I think, like this one I'm using right now, yeah, it's not really overheating that much. But if you try to use it in a semi-hot environment, just like the shots I showed you when I tried to take a photo of the coffee product, yeah, I left the lights on for quite too long under the sun and it got a little, you know, overheat. But it's not overheating and turning it itself off. Even though it's becoming a little too hot when you leave it on under the sun, um, still the battery life doesn't drain too fast. The battery life is actually good. And the RGB LED light is a little thicker than the bi-color light. So what's up with this? light do i recommend this product yes or no well i don't really suck up to brands with all honesty yes they they, they didn't pay me to say this but it's not just because as well they gave me the product for, for for my keeps but i think as a filmmaker especially those who are starting out this is a good tool especially for mobile filmmakers because they designated this product for mobile filmmakers and they gave me one a set of two actually and i'm not a mobile filmmaker i was able to use it in a professional field where i shot if only i could show you guys what i made using these lights actually i made it for a big brand Maybe soon I can tell you. But yes, it's a yes for me. I recommend this tool. There are other options as well on the market. But for what Sandmark brings on the table, for its price, and I almost forgot the premium feel, I think these lights will stand out. And I hope Sandmark continues further into developing their products. If maybe they make out 60 watts, 120, 300, 200. I'm always down for, for a company that's entering the field of making these lights. That's what I think about this product. And I really, really want to thank sandmark for sending these over I, to be honest i re my favorite is the rgb pro light and so that is it for this vlog make sure to like and subscribe follow me on instagram and i'll see you on the next episode peace out